Are you struggling with low conversion rates on your landing pages, low quality scores and high cost per clicks? If so, your landing page experience might be part of the issue and we're going to show you inside this video how to optimize your landing page for a higher conversion rate and more leads and better performance overall inside Google Ads. Now, what your landing page experience is, is one of the three metrics that go into determining your overall quality score. And it's a score given to you based on your landing page of how relevant Google thinks your landing page actually is. And to find your landing page experience, you want to go to your keywords first of all, and then and if you don't see a column for it already, you just go to all your columns and then go to quality score. And you can add your landing page experience here, as well as your expected click-through rate, quality score, and ad relevance. And then just press apply. And you can see here, for example, that landing page experience here, you're given a score as either poor, average, or above average. And this landing page experience score, along with your expected click-through rate and ad relevance, is what's going to determine your overall quality score. And now we're going to go through each of the most important elements that Google uses to determine your overall landing page experience to help you boost your overall quality score and you know, help you get a lower cost per click and also a higher conversion rate overall. And probably the most important aspect that determines your overall landing page experience is how relevant your landing page actually is to the keywords and ads of that ad group. And as you can see here with this headline with, you know, landscaping mentioned and this offer with, you know, off all landscaping services that this landing page is most relevant to an ad that's specific to landscaping and keywords that are also specific to landscaping as well. And so what you want to do is make your landing page as relevant as possible to the service that you're offering in that ad group. So you want to have it mentioned as much as possible throughout the landing page. And the more detail you go into on the landing page, the more you scroll down the page, you also want to add more details in about that specific service as well. So what you do not want to do with your landing page is have a generic home website page that has you know a bit of information about all the different services that you offer because it's not going to be deemed as very relevant and all you're trying to do is you know fit everything that you offer into the one place whereas making separate specific landing pages for each service you're going to have a much more relevant landing page and you're also going to improve the likelihood that that person converts into a lead as well because you're making them feel like they're in the right place from the very beginning so when you make your landing pages what you can do that with them to make them more relevant is that if you're adding in a separate service that you can make a separate landing page for that service and let's say you wanted to add in a separate ad group for fencing, then wherever it says landscaping, then all you'd have to do is switch that around for fencing. And now the landing page is automatically going to be a lot more relevant to the ad group, including the ad copy and keywords of that ad group. And then when you go into a little bit more detail about your service down below, you can mention fencing here, obviously, rather than landscaping and go into more detail about what that fencing service entails and obviously change around these photos as well to make them more relevant to the service in question. So that way then Google is going to be more incentivized to show your ad because they feel like your landing page is more relevant than your competitors. And most of your competitors are probably driving all their traffic to a regular website page anyways. So by having a specific landing page like this, you're already standing out from most of your competitors just by doing that. The next thing that goes into determining your landing page experience as well then is the actual page speed. So how long it takes for the page to load but also how long it takes specific aspects of the page to load, like specific images or other pieces of content. Now, I'll leave the link to a separate video above that goes into detail on landing page speed and all of the insights that you get from running a page speed insight test here. And all you need to do is go to pagespeed.webs.dev on Google, and you're going to be able to run a landing page speed test just to give you an insight as to how well your landing page loads. And what you don't want for your landing page is for it to take longer than a few seconds to load, because if it does, then the chances are the person's not going to bother waiting and they're just going to go click on somebody else's ad instead. And that'll just end up being a wasted click because they never got to the actual landing page itself. The next thing you want to do then is make sure that your landing page is mobile friendly as well, because most of the traffic that you get from your ads are actually going to go to mobile as opposed to desktop. And when you're making your campaign initially on desktop, you need to make sure that it's mobile 
optimize as well, which is really simple to do if you're using a landing page software like Landingly, like we are in this case. But you want to make sure the mobile version of the landing page is just as simple to navigate. And before you launch the campaign as well, you just want to make sure that you go through the landing page on your phone just to make sure that everything looks okay. But as long as the layout is more or less the same on mobile and, you know, nothing's misplaced or anything like that, then you should be good to go. And the next thing you want to make sure you have as well is transparency and trustworthiness as well as ease of navigation. So what you want to do on your landing pages is have clear call to actions where you make it really clear what the next action is from here. What you don't want to have like a regular website is loads of links to different pages where you're likely just going to confuse the user and not make it clear what the next action is. Whereas you can see easily in this landing page, for example, that we have multiple call to actions throughout and we're making it extremely clear what the next step is for anybody that's actually interested. We also want to make sure our landing page is trustworthy as well, so have clear social proof from the very beginning. So implementing testimonials wherever possible, and also you know having the review platform logos and mentioning how many reviews that you actually have is also really useful. And you don't need anything really fancy with your landing page. You just really want to have an easy and simple to navigate design and only focus on what really matters on your landing pages. You don't need to go into crazy amounts of detail and have you know massive blocks of text because it's just not necessary to have and as long as you focus on the core elements and have you know your optimized hero section at the top for example and you know add in more social proof as well as benefits and go into more detail about what you offer then you should be good to go with your landing page now i hope this video helped and gave you clarity on what you can do to improve your landing page experience inside google ads to boost the amount of conversions you're getting overall but also give you a higher quality score, which will help you get a lower cost per click, meaning that you can get more leads for the same budget each month. And now if you do have any questions at all about landing page experience or anything else related to Google Ads, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you are a service-based company looking for further help refining your own campaigns, feel free to have a look at the link in the description down below. And if you do like this Google Ads related content as well, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as we'll be posting all things related to Google Ads here daily. And hopefully we see you in the next one.